Welcome to the Catholic Apostolate Center's blogcast series. Today's episode is called Bitter Sweetness, written and read by Chrissy Pierno. I have a new hot take. Jesus is a perfect definition of bitter sweetness. This might lead some to continue scrolling down the page, but hang on. For me, I need to connect my faith in a tangible and simple way. When you think of something like the Paschal Mystery, it's a little daunting. To explain some more, let's break this down a little bit more and engage with the Paschal Mystery a bit. We know that Jesus' passion, death on the cross, rising from the dead, and new life are all aspects of the core of what we believe as Catholics. The bittersweet aspect is that it was both sad and amazing at the same time. Recently, we saw how Jesus' passion and resurrection, followed by his ascension, made his disciples miss him. But the Holy Spirit empowered them to do great things. At points of transition in our lives, even as natural as the change of seasons, we may find ourselves with feelings of similar bitter sweetness. As my life gets pretty chaotic this summer, I'm finding myself constantly split between being sad and happy or experiencing the closing and opening of chapters. I'll be saying a fond farewell to an aspect of my career that feels like the sun setting, but there is hope of new and exciting horizons that lie ahead. As a parent, I'm grieving the baby phase that my two and a half year old is through and gaze at his baby chub that was so squishy when he couldn't run fast. On the other hand, I'm loving the chatting and curiosity that his toddler age has brought into our lives and I can't stop laughing and smiling with him lately. Also, in my personal life, my husband and I are coming up on our fifth wedding anniversary this fall and I cannot help but wonder how fast the time has flown by while loving how much we've grown and supported each other over these years. In all of these areas, the word I keep thinking is not bittersweet. That sounds more like a tasty chocolate. It's bittersweetness. The word for my summer is bittersweetness. I think I like the sound of it better than the type of chocolate because of the sweetness part. I like the sweetness in things, the joy and the happiness. I tend to skip right through the sad or longing because if I dwell on these too long, I'll get that tightening in my throat and catch a tear in my eye. I don't like goodbyes and I don't like endings. I always think of the glass half full. For example, I tell my students, Jesus died, but three days later he rose from the dead and saved us all. The bittersweetness of life for me always looks optimistic and emphasizes the sweetness, not the bitterness. But life is full of both. So I'm trying to push through and feel all the feels this time. In this literal new season of summer and this transition of seasons in my life, I need this reminder to not skip the goodbyes and try to go straight to the good part. I think this summer will be hard for me in this season. So Turning to prayer and God's grace will ease that burden a bit. I've always found comfort in prayer, whether it is an intentional mass or journaling some thoughts. I'm hoping to reacclimate my heart for those things too. For at my fingertips access, though, I am also going to attempt to make the Revive and Rekindle app through the Catholic Apostolate Center a daily habit. I'll first begin with the daily reflections and see what my heart needs next. I need to reflect and think about Christ, and I really enjoy doing so through the lens of the Palatine spirituality. I find comfort in the words of St. Vincent Pilati. Seek God and you will find God. Seek God in all things and you will find God in all things. Seek God always and you will find God always. He reminds us to simply look for the Lord. I'm hoping this seeking will bring some comfort for me and for you. Through Christ, this bitter sweetness may open my eyes to new things or help me feel at peace with both emotions, embracing the bitter sweetness altogether. Prayer will get me through. Lord, give me strength 
and understanding. Amen.